right out of the gate. Oh yeah, like the Rebel was spinning its tires there. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be filming the all-new Ram 1500 Limited. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout-out thank you to the Larry Trailer Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below, so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Ryan. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a Natchi aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission and the e-torque system. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound-feet of torque with fuel economy being 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. The e-torque system also adds another 130 pound-feet of torque right off of the line. Now before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you can see it's raised there in the center portion, and then we have this 1500 Hemi e-torque badge off to the side. And then taking a look at the elements here, you guys can see the LED daytime running lights there with the headlights super bright, and then we have the limited chrome front grille, which uh, not sure why there's tape there, but there is. And then you guys can see down below, we've got some fog lights, we've got recovery hooks, and then we also have parking sensors as well. And putting it all together, I think the Limited still looks great for a luxury truck. Coming around the side here, time wheel setup is 275, 55, 20 in the front and in the rear. <laughs> you guys can see the design there at the wheel. You got like that metallic gray in the center, which I think looks pretty good. Now being a Limited, this truck comes standard with four corner air suspension. We've got these body painted fender flares here. Notice we have a Ram Limited badge right there and then that trim actually continues all along the bottom portion. And then you can also see here with the mirrors, we have the trailer tow mirrors. Now I parked the truck under this awning so that I could minimize the water on my camera because my camera's not waterproof. And well, now there's a pillar in the way so you guys can kind of see the side view. So here's our key fob for the Limited. You guys can see we have our unlock function, our lock function, the tailgate drop down, and then this actually drops down the air suspension if you wanna lower it so you can get in easier. And then we've got your remote start function as well, and boom. Now actually popping into the bed, we have a payload capacity of 1,478 pounds here with the Limited. And this is actually a pretty cool view. Maybe I'll film more videos over here. Um, but anyways, you guys can see this one's pretty bare bones from a bed perspective. It doesn't, has, doesn't have a whole lot of options added to it. Lifting up the tailgate, super easy. I mean, it's very light. Now we've got the LED tail lights here. Notice everything is red. And then we've got all of our chrome badges on the back end as well. We've got parking sensors down below with the circular exhaust tips. Towing capacity on this truck because it has a 321 axle ratio. If I remember right, it's like nine-ish thousand pounds. And then finishing things off with the rest of the rear, I definitely think that the Limited is still a good looking truck. And yeah, seeing it from above, it's kind of fun. Now taking a look at the door panel with the Limited, you can see beautiful leather all over the door panel. And then look at like the stitching and embroidery. That also looks great. You got the wood trim on top of that. Something else to note, we got these power running boards here with the Limited. Notice we got the Ram logo right there. And then we've got the ice buckets here on the back as well. Genuine leather seats here with the Limited. You guys can see with the piping and then look at like the embroidery again and then all the leather perforated down the center, definitely looks fantastic. And you can see with the seat backs too. And then popping in here, legroom's fantastic. And then we've got some cup holders here in the center and then it's kind of hard to see because the lighting sucks, but you got wood trim right there. And then vents down below. And then we also have USBs, heated and cooled seats. And then we have a full power outlet on top of that. And headroom here in the Limited is also solid. Now with the front door panel, you can see really nice leather trim all over. And again, look at the custom embroidery. We've got the wood trim right there. All of our window controls, notice the front two are automatic. We do have our mirror adjustments. The mirror is also power fold in. And then we have our memory seat function. And then taking a quick look at the mirrors, they are the trailer chill mirrors, so they do flip up. Uh, and they also have blind spot monitoring. We've got really nice leather seats here at the front. Again, look at the stitching perforated all down the center. And yes, it's raining on the seats, I know. <laughs> <laughs> got really nice piping there and then power adjustments on the side. We've got all of our light controls right here at the fog lights and the cargo light, pedal adjustment right there, and then the steering wheel itself is manually adjustable. And 
now taking a look at the steering wheel, this is pretty interesting. Notice that it's leather trim all around. We don't have like the wood thing at the top, which, yeah, interesting. But we do have some wood trim right there at the bottom portion. Anyways, we've got radio controls on the back. We have our cruise control. We've got our gear limiter right there. And then some controls for the center stack with the phone controls. And then our turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. Now this is a big thing with the new limited and that is the fact that we have a full digital gauge cluster. Still says limited there at the top, which is pretty cool. But notice I can change from analog to digital. This is what the digital version looks like, which is very familiar to the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, but you can see a bunch of different vehicle info here with the screen as well. And then notice we can load like a map view, which I don't know, I think that's pretty fun. There's just a lot that you can see. Also that map was super detailed. Did that literally show even the parking lot? Oh, no, never mind. It's just the road. I was like, wait a second. It's showing the freaking lanes in the parking lot. That's cool. But no, I, was, I got like, excited for no reason. But yeah, there's the new digital gauge cluster. Now with this limited, it just has a backup camera. You can zoom in with it. And then you got the trajectory lines. Now let's start things off with the infotainment system itself. Um, first off, you guys can see on the climate tab, we have dual zone climate heated and ventilated seats here for the front and a heated steering wheel, which actually we'll turn the both of those on. I know that there's not two people in here, but uh, my backpack needs to warm up. Anyways, we got a shortcut bar here at the bottom, which lets you go into the different screens, which now this navigation screen, I mean, it's not pointless, but I mean, we got the one in the center. So I'm like, why would you use it? Overall, the infotainment screen is great. It's easy to use. Now on either side of the screen, you guys can see we've got analog controls for the climate system and then radio controls as well. And then down below, we've got this for like the parking sensors to turn those off, tow haul mode, stability control. This is for the air suspension to raise and lower it. You got your trailer steering and then trailer brake controls as well. And then zooming up top, we got a 12 volt. And speaking of up top, look at how beautiful the leather trim is here on the dash. And then this one actually has the Alpine sound system. This is like a base model limited. And then here is the dial shifter with the limited we've got two-wheel drive four-wheel auto four-wheel high and then four-wheel low now so we have our auto stop start as well we got limited here on the center console and then look at the embroidery with that and then helping it up you got the nice like felt lined portion with the usb and then you can see here with the little measuring charts and then this does slide backwards and forwards if you guys are wondering and look at like the wood trim here on top i think that also looks fantastic and then we just have some phone holders right here got some usbs and then you have a full power outlet and then of course got the beautiful wood finish on the glove box notice it's a glove box and then that one also a glove box but yeah really nice like interior trim and everything and then popping up top this has just the standard mirror and then we do have a power sliding rear window and uh, no roof well sunroof i mean so I'm not sure how well this window sticker is going to pop up on camera, but anyways, base MSRP is 67550 And like I said, this is pretty much a base model limited. There's not a lot of options added to it. So total MSRP is 71680 And that's crazy that I'm saying that a $71,000 truck is a base model version of a truck. What world do we live in? Let's take it out and drive it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, and let's do this so you can actually see. Both the mirrors, which can do a blind spot monitoring with this truck, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And I do need to say it, they give us this fancy new digital gauge cluster, but we still have a manual adjustment on the steering wheel. Okay, so we are setting off, and we're actually in the off-road two mode, so I'm gonna lower the air suspension. I just did that to make the truck look cool for the thumbnail, to be honest. Um, but we'll lower down to the normal setting so that the truck rides better. Because if you don't know, if you have the limited or just any Ram with the air suspension in the top ride height setting, it's pretty rough um, because, you know, you're at the top of the at the top of the bags. And so, yeah, it makes sense that it's going to ride rough. But when you put it down to normal mode, oh man, this rides so well. Um, again, with Ram, um, you know, still utilizing a solid rear axle, but, you know, going for multi-link with the regular truck and their suspension with this truck means that it's just, just so smooth. It really is. Yeah, going over bumps and everything, you don't really feel that much. Now, one thing to note, um, and I found this out because I will have a lot of followers that like Rams and a lot that have purchased Limited. If you put uh, 
tires with a little bit more sidewall than the stock tires. With this, then it makes the ride quality even better and it like it's like the best luxury truck ever is what people have told me. Um, I've even <laughs> seen people, they've told me they've switched to like 18 inch wheels and then, you know, put like just really big beefy tires on. And it looks cool with the limited, frankly. You don't have to have big fancy luxury looking wheels on the truck. I think it can look good with smaller wheels and off-road tires. Yeah, so ride quality is great. Um, seat comfort's also really good. And since I got in and out, we got to turn the heated seats back on. Yeah, let's get this heated seat party going. Yeah, it, the thing's weird is the steering wheel. Like, I'm, I'm confused why there's not wood trim, like, all over the wheel. It feels like, it feels like I've been downgraded with the steering wheel. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Upgraded with the gauge cluster, downgraded with the steering wheel. But... Yeah, truck still drives great. That's the one thing about these Rams is they've held, they've held up really uh, well since the initial uh, release. I mean, again, this truck is, you know, different from the 2019 version, but like, it's not, like it's, it's still the same truck basically. And so it's not that much different and it still holds up really well. Now this has a 321 axle ratio. I just drove a Rebel before this. And the thing that's funny is you can definitely feel a difference. Like a 321 axle ratio truck doesn't have that same punch um, right out of the bat. And again, this has e-torque just like the Rebel that I drove. So it's not like it has a different powertrain setup or anything. So if you get the, you know, 392 axle ratio, you get a truck that definitely punches harder right out of the gate. Oh yeah. Like the Rebel was spinning its tires there. And so I had to like pull off. Whereas this, I can just go in and it doesn't spin the tires. That's hilarious. Um, this also does have the anti-spin differential on the back end though, so that probably also helps. Probably, right? So, let's get into setting things up here with the Limited. Um, first off, I think it looks great still. Obviously, they haven't changed the design with this version of the Limited since release, really. I mean, it looks identical to a 2019, but again, I don't think they needed to really because it's still a very nice looking truck. Um, interior, same thing. Like, this is what's crazy to me is Ford and General Motors have had since 2018 because that's when this truck first came out they've had since 2018 to like catch up and you know the interior materials with like a gmc sierra denali ultimate it's you know on the same level as this and then with a ford f-150 limited same thing but like they don't use as much of it like look this entire dash the only thing is on the edges here obviously that's plasticky but like most of the dash and then here in the center it's all really nice materials whereas like you look in the ford and you have like leather plastic leather right so i just i don't know it's it's crazy that like ram basically built this truck in a way to where you know several years later it it doesn't feel outdated like it feels just as modern as the competition it drives just as modern as the competition and so they really did like future proof the truck in a way um let me know what you guys think about the new ram 1500 limited that's gonna sum things up with our video on this limited again a huge shout out and thank you to the larry trailer dodge ram here in sandy utah for giving me some time with this truck check out the intro in the description down below i'll see ya